This is Flip Taco here in Taco Approved, bringing you another video review. This time it's going to be on Mirror's Edge for the Xbox 360. I was too young to remember exactly how it started. The authorities said the changes, the monitoring, banning, regulating, were for the greater good. But good isn't the same as right. Now, storyline-wise, Mirror's Edge takes place in a town where it's more like a ut very clean utopia, though the government is uh, totalitarian, and uh, not all is what it seems. Uh, you play as Faith. She is a runner, which p it's uh, basically uh, pe uh, people that transport uh, in inf sensitive information to other groups of people. Now, one day you stumble upon your sister, who was framed for assassinating a uh, candidate to become mayor, so you try to find out what's really going on and who is involved and hopefully free your sister. The storyline wise it's actually pretty good. I really I really like it, you know. It is um definitely it's com it definitely with the runners it is definitely um using park parkour and um it, it's definitely something to, good to watch. The cutscenes are being are shown uh via cartoon fla uh flash a animation like you would see on Newgrounds or the uh, first person shoot first person view in game now as on for the gameplay wise the gameplay is entirely all in first person view it is all what you're basically doing is running and using the environment to get from one place to another basically all in one motion like the uh, the sport uh, par parkour I, I know I'm kind of saying it wrong but I, I say it that way in a it's the Asian thing but moving on now it is it's definitely a fun game to play. There are some gunplay mechanics where you can disarm uh enemies and use weapons, but you can only you use them until there's no reload. It basically once they're out of bullets, they're out of bullets. Uh the game basically uh it's a leap of faith moment that you'll be taking a couple of times whether like you'd be jumping onto the rooftop but you don't know if you're going to make it, so you usually take the leap of faith. Now there are different techniques and different ways to complete the game, so it's but it's still kind of a linear experience. But it does definitely give you options on how to, to complete it. As for graphics-wise, the game does look beautiful with its unique sense of artwork and graphics use because of the, how the city is set up so clean, and it's it's very definitely something to take notice at. The uh, also the cutscene work with the graphics of the flash animations it does look good, but still it, it kind of looks like they just made a. Uh, uh, it's a cheap route, but it, overall it works. Sound-wise, the game has an excellent use of the game's soundtrack, and also the in-game voice work, and uh, other uh, sounds does work well for it. Over overall, Mirror's Edge is definitely a great single-player game to play, but on the only multiplayer features it has is just basically time trial modes, where how long can you beat this level, depending on a certain amount of time. Other than that, there's no much replay value except, you know, just always playing the storyline and finding um, hidden objects or bags, one might say. Overall, I'm going to have to give uh, Mirror's Edge a solid B+. It is definitely a great game to play, but with only a single li a single player storyline to play, it is definitely a um, not much replay value other than that. But it is definitely a unique um, gameplay experience combining a sport and a first-person view basically going with the motion, just letting it flow. This is, uh, again, this I'm giving this game a B+, and this is Flip Talk here on Otaku Approved, signing out.